You are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to the power t multiplied by 4 to the power t. This is equal to 30. So what is the value of t? Now, let's provide the solution here. Now, we can express 8 to the power t as 2 to the power 3 raised to the power t multiplied by 4 to the power t, which you can express as 2 to the power 2 raised to the power t. This is equal to 30. Now, 2 to the power 3 raised to the power t and 2 to the power 2 raised to the power t. This is in the form of a to the power n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power n times m. So applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power 3 times 2, which is 3t times 2 to the power 2t. This is equal to 30. So now here we have 2 to the power. This is in the form of a to the power n times a to the power m, which we can express as a to the power n plus m. So applying this property, then here we have 2 to the power 3t plus 2t. This is equal to 30. So we have 2 to the power 3t plus 2t, and this is 2 to the power 5t. This is equal to 30. So to solve for the value of t, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that you will have rho of 2 to the power 5t. This is equal to rog 30. So rog 2 to the power 5t, this is in the form of rog a to the power n, which we can express as n rog rog a. So applying this power rule property, then you find that rog 2 to the power 5t, this can be expressed as 5t rog 2. This is equal to rog 30. So let's divide both signs by rog 2 and also here by rog 2. So now we have 5t. This is equal to rog 30 divided by rog 2. So we can express 30. We can be able to express 30 as 6 times 5. Let's substitute this. So this is 5t. This is equal to rog 6 times 5 divided by rog 2. So rog 6 times 5, this is in the form of rog a times b, which you can express as rog a plus rog b. So applying this logarithm property, then here we have 5t is equal to rog 6 divided by rog 2, then plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. Yes, then from here, we can express 6 as basically 2 times 3. So this translates that 5t is equal to rog now this is 2 times 3 divided by rog 2, then plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. Now this is 5t, this is equal to rog 2 times 3 divided by rog 2, plus rog 5, 2 divided by rog 2. Now this is actually in the form of rog a. This is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. So let's apply this property. So that here we have 5t, this is equal to rog 2 divided by rog 2, then plus rog 3 divided by rog 2, plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. Now the next step, let's simplify rog 2 and rog 2 here. So this is 5t which is equal to 1, plus we have rog 3 divided by rog, rog 2, plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. Rog 3 divided by rog 2 and rog 5 divided by rog 2. This is in the form of rog A divided by rog B, which can be expressed as rog A to base B. So applying this property, 
Then this means that we have 5t. This is equal to 1 plus log 3 to base 2. Then plus log 5 to base 2. The next step, to, we divide both signs here by 5. So that now the value of t is equal to, this is the same thing as 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 log 3 to base 2, then plus 1 over 5 log 5 to base 2. And since 1 over 5 is common here, we can express t equal to 1 over 5 into the parentheses 1 plus log 3 to base 2, then plus log 5 to base 2. So this is the value of t. This is the value of t. So let's verify that this value of t satisfies the equation. Let's verify here. Now, if you recall, we end at 8 to power t times 4 to power t. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So, we express 8 as 2 to power 3 raised to power t times 2 to power 2 raised to power t. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So, this is the same thing as 2 to power 3t times 2 to power 2t, which is equal to 30. So, here we have 2 to power 3t plus 2t. This is 5t. This should give us a value of 30. So the next the next place here is to substitute the value of t so that we'll have 2 to power 5 multiplied by t which is 1 over 5 into the parentheses 1 plus log 3 to base 2 then plus log 5 to base 2 close the bracket here then this is equal to 30 this should give us a value of 30 so let's simplify here by 5 by 5 so that now here we have 2 to power 1 plus log 3 to base 2 plus log 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 30. So let's proceed from here. Now here we have 2 to power 1 plus log 3 to base 2 plus log 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 30. Now this is actually in the form of a to power n plus m which you can transform as a to power n times a to power m so let's apply this exponent property so that now here we'll have 2 to power 1 times 2 to power rock 3 to base 2 times 2 to power rock 5 to base 2 this should give us a value of that so you find that we have 2 here Multiplying by now 2 to power of 3 to base 2, this is in the form of m to power of a to base m, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of a. Now, as you can see here, applying this property, then we'll have 2 to power of 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 3. And 2 to power, we have rock 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 5. So let's substitute these two values here. So we have already 2 here, then multiplying by 2 to the power of 3 to base 2, which is 3, then times 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, which is 5. This should give us a value of 30. So 2 times 3, this is 6. 6 times 5, this is 30, which is equal to 30. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of t, which is 1 over 5, into the parentheses 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and more importantly, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.